Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question and I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Now without further ado, let's get started. Now Leon glued a paper clip onto a thin piece of wood and then he allowed it to float on water in a glass container as shown in this diagram. So when he moved the bar magnet from point A to B, he noticed that the paper clip also moved together with the piece of wood from point A to B. So why did this happen? That is because the paper clip must have been attracted to the bar magnet. So I'll write this over here, paper clip attracted to the bar magnet. So what did he then do? He then repeat the experiment by moving the bar magnet from point A to point B, but using different depths of water instead. So after that, he would then observe what happened to the paper clips, and then he recorded it down in the table below. So let's take a look at our table. Now, as you are increasing the depth of water, you are also changing something. Okay, essentially, when the depth of water increases over here, what you're also doing is you're increasing the distance between the paper clip and the bar magnet. So the depth of water actually represents the distance between the paper clip and the magnet. Okay, and then we look at the results. Okay, at 4 cm, when the depth is at 4 cm, okay, the paper clip still moved together with the magnet. That means the paper clip is still attracted. Same thing for 7 cm. The paper clip still moved together with the magnet. And then finally at 9 cm, the paper clip still moved together with the magnet. So from 4 to 9 cm, we can say that the paper clip was attracted. Okay, but from the 11 cm onwards, at 11 cm, the paper clip no longer moves with the magnet. Okay, and then for 13 cm, same thing as well. So is the paper clip still attracted to the magnet? No, the paper clip is not attracted. Okay, so now let's take a look at the question. The question says, based on his data, he then concluded that the maximum depth that the paper clip can still be attracted must be only 9 cm. Now, do you agree with Leon? So for students, they would think, hmm, based on this data, I can see that the last number before the paper clip was no longer attracted was 9 cm. So Leon must be correct. So over here, we did not measure the results between 9 to 11 cm. So between 9 to 11 cm, there is a possibility that the paper clip could still be attracted. So I'll write this here, paper clip may still be attracted. So do you agree with Leon that 9 is the maximum depth that the paper clip will be attracted? No, we do not agree. Why? Because the maximum depth of water from which the paper clip would still be attracted can range from, not inclusive, 9 to 11 cm. And that's your answer for part A. Now, let's take a look at part B. Dylan repeated the same exact experiment, but this time, instead of using the glass container from earlier, he decides to use a steel container with water instead. Do you think he would observe or obtain the same results as Leon? Explain your answer clearly. Now, over here, what we're doing is that we are changing the glass container to steel. And students know that steel is a magnetic material. So if now I was to change my container into a magnetic material, do you think the paper clip can still get attracted to the bar magnet? The answer is no, because why do we say that? We say that due to the golden rules of magnetism, in particularly rule number two. Rule number two tells us that a magnet's magnetism can only pass through non magnetic materials. That means if I want to attract the paper clip, I must have 
non-magnetic materials between the magnet and the paper clip. And that was the case earlier when we had only water, wood, and glass between the paper clip and the magnet. But now that I changed the container to steel, we already said that steel was a magnetic material. So this means that the bar's magnet's magnetism will not be able to pass through the steel container, which is made of a magnetic material. Now instead, what do you think would happen? Instead, the bar magnet will actually be attracted to the steel container. And you will not observe any similar results that Leon has achieved earlier because the paper clip will not get attracted. And that's your answer for part B. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!